Hey guys, I've had the Blackberry Priv for one week now and today I'm going to share what I like, what I don't like and what I noticed about it. So I'm going to group this video into three categories. So things that are positive, things that are negative and things I just find to be neutral. So let's start off with the good things, so things I like about the Blackberry Priv. And the number one thing that I like about this phone is the design. In my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful phones BlackBerry ever produced or any manufacturer ever produced. The dual curved screen on the front, the front facing speaker, the soft touch material backing, the slide out keyboard, it just looks amazing when it's slid, slid out? I don't know. When, when you slide it out. And even the back housing of the screen when you it out? When you have, when you, when you have it open, it looks amazing. It has a really nice industrial design. Of course, it's not made out of uh, aluminum or metal like other phones, like HTC phones or iPhones. It is only made out of glass and plastics and soft touch materials. But I think they they made it so good that it really feels like a premium phone. There's one thing I want to address and it's that many reviewers said that the screen is kind of wiggling and the soft touch backing would be uh, too soft so you can push on it and you see that it dents in. I really don't understand why they're really having a negative attitude towards the Priv in that category because it's really built like a tank I think. Because it has a mechanical slide out mechanism and of course that is a thing that makes a phone very very difficult to produce especially a big phone like the Priv and the only thing I noticed is that you have a tiny bit of wiggle in the lower left corner of the screen so when you're typing on the screen you notice that is uh, it is kind of wiggling in the lower back but if you have it open it disappears but it really isn't a huge issue like they say and also the backing it is really minimal that denting that you get when you press on the back it is so minimal I I don't notice it. I don't notice it ever. I don't really understand why reviewers have such a negative opinion about the build quality, but uh, that is just my opinion, so that we get that out of the way. The next thing I really like about the BlackBerry Priv is the screen. Um, it's a Quad HD display, so it's better than Full HD and a bit worse than 4K, but you really, really don't notice any pixel on it. It's an AMOLED display, so if the display or the phone wants to show a black color, it actually turns off the pixels on the screen. And that, first of all, is good for battery power or battery life, because if the pixels are off, they don't waste any power. And also, the, the, the black colors on it, they just look stunning. They're really rich and deep blacks, and they're not a gray, mushy black. The BlackBerry Priv also has a dual curve display. It's like the Galaxy S7, uh, but just not as prominent as the Galaxy S7 Edge. And you don't really notice it when you have it on your everyday life. Uh, you only notice it when you scroll through the menu or something. Um, you see that those uh, icons slowly roll off the edge. It's kind of a neat feature, but it's not nothing you really need. And another neat feature is uh, when you plug it in to a power source, a small and thin line will appear on the edge of the screen to display how much the battery is charged and how long it will take until it's fully charged. Another thing I find positive about the BlackBerry Priv is on the software side and you know it has Android installed and that means there are a lot of social media apps. On weekends I work in a cafe and I do the social media for them, so Instagram and stuff. So the Priv really comes in handy in that regard. Because in the BlackBerry Hub, which is also on Android and I will come back to the BlackBerry Hub later in the video, you have Android, uh, you have Instagram and Twitter displayed. And that really helps me keeping my notifications organized on Android. And it also helped me filter through my notifications on social media apps. Because you know, those social media apps are produced to run on Android or iOS. So they work best on those phones. They did work good on BlackBerry 10, but on Android, they just work a tiny bit better. And that is good for social media. Next thing I like about the BlackBerry Priv is the front-facing speaker. It's only mono, so it's not the best in the category, 
but it really is nice that it's on the front when you're watching videos and it's not coming out of the back or from the bottom and you always cover it with your hand. Um, it's actually quite a nice sounding speaker and it's extremely loud and that's what I like about the Priv. So let's get to the negative things about the Blackberry Priv and the first thing I don't like about the Blackberry Priv is its size. Of course that's a personal thing and everyone uh, everyone is different and some people want a big phone, some people want a small phone. I always wanted to try a really really big phone like the Blackberry Priv. I didn't know that it was that big but it's amazingly huge. It has a 5.4 inch display and I think it's the same size as the iPhone 6 Plus and you really really notice that. I have troubles sticking it into my pocket. In the front pocket it's always a problem because it always kind of sticks out and it pushes into your stomach and it doesn't really fit my back pocket. Some people have bigger back pockets but my pants kind of have small back pockets and sometimes the phone sticks out of them and I have uh, fears that it will scratch or fall out of my pants. Another area where I notice the size is just an everyday use. Uh, you can't reach everything with one hand. You have to use both hands if you want to use the phone properly. Um, a nice thing is that you can use the keyboard with one hand because it's uh, I think the same size as the Blackberry Classic but um, otherwise you really have to use both hands to use it properly. Another thing I kind of find negative is the Blackberry Hub which they transformed to Android and on Android the Blackberry Hub isn't what it is on Blackberry 10. The Blackberry Hub on Android is much slower. I kind of have problems with the notifications I get from WhatsApp. Sometimes they don't get marked as red when I, uh, when I read them already and you kind of don't use the Hub as much on Android because you have that drop down menu where you get all the information or all your notifications. It kind of is faster that way but what I like about the hub still is that you still have all those notifications organized in one place and they don't go missing like if you didn't have the hub on other Android phones but uh, I really really find it kind of annoying that the hub is that slow and sluggish because another thing I don't like about the hub is that when you click on an app or a notification that is in the hub you get moved to another app so you don't stay in the hub to to, to write the response you actually get taken to another app and when you push that little back arrow you don't get back into the hub you get into the menu of the app you just opened and that is kind of annoying because you don't want to go into that app and on Blackberry 10 everything was kind of more integrated into the OS and that is what I like about the hub and it kind of is missing kind of sad but I guess I have to deal with it the fourth thing I noticed and that I don't like is that all those nice gestures from BlackBerry 10 are gone. You don't have them on BlackBerry uh, on Android. So now let's get into the last category of this video one week with my priv is the neutral category. And the first thing I find neutral that I like and sometimes is kind of bad is the BlackBerry Priv's keyboard. So let's get into the thing I like about the BlackBerry Priv's keyboard and this is that it not only works as a keyboard but also as a touchpad. So you can scroll through pages or you can scroll through menus or web pages or Instagram. Everything kind of works and that is something I really really like. What I don't like about the keyboard is that it's kind of flat and mushy. On the BlackBerry Q10 and on the BlackBerry Classic those keys were really really clicky, they had a lot of travel and on the Blackberry Priv it's kind of flat, it's mushy, uh, they don't really click that much but I think it's just muscle memory that has to get used to the new keyboard. I kind of am getting into it, I'm kind of getting faster, I'm get making less mistakes but that is something I didn't like at first um, but it, it gets better with time. Because I really, really can't write on the screen keyboard of the BlackBerry Priv. I just, I don't know, I can't write on screen keyboards. And this is really nice about the Priv because I can use the physical keyboard and that makes things much easier. Next thing I kind of find neutral is Android. As a BlackBerry lover, I also really loved BlackBerry 10 or I still love BlackBerry 10. And Android just isn't as fluent 
uh, it is just not comparable to BlackBerry 10. It is usable, it's amazing for social media apps or apps in general and you can use it of course but BlackBerry 10 was just that tiny bit better and it was a tiny bit more fluent and faster at least that's what I think and the BlackBerry Hub really made the BlackBerry 10 OS awesome and um, they, with the BlackBerry apps they included in the BlackBerry Priv it makes Android a lot better and that is what I like about the Android software but otherwise it's just uh, a tiny bit worse than the BlackBerry 10 but maybe I get used to it and I find more pros than cons and I will let you know in my channel something I wanted to address is that the BlackBerry Priv or at least reviewers said that the BlackBerry Priv suffers from heat issues from the processor. When I first got my BlackBerry Priv and when I took it out of the box and started it and made all the updates, it was hot. It was it was almost too hot to touch. And that I, I thought, hey, this can't be. How can a phone, a new phone, be so hot? But then I downloaded the Marshmallow, Android Marshmallow update, and it's gone. It only gets warm if you have a lot of apps open and it, it's not as hot as it was in the beginning, but it gets only warm and it's still touchable but you notice it but otherwise it stays cool and it's really nice to handle but when I first got it I was really surprised but they really fixed that with the marshmallow update and that is a good thing good job BlackBerry I think with the Android marshmallow update they made the BlackBerry Priv very very fast and fluent I didn't notice any lag so far or at least those really really bad lags it didn't turn off on itself and it really is a very very nice phone and the battery lasts me a full day of mid to heavy use and that is the thing I like. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the one week with the BlackBerry Proof video. I'm going to use it for the next weeks and month just to see if I like it, if I can use it as an everyday phone and uh, also to give you an honest opinion about the phone and not just the opinion reviewers have of three days of use and then they send it back and they actually have no single clue about the phone and that is what I want to address and what I do want to do better. Lots of videos about the BlackBerry Priv will follow so stay tuned and that you get the notifications please make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the description below what you think about this video and if you would consider buying the BlackBerry Priv and yeah. Hope we see us next week, hopefully, with a new video. Until then, bye.